Hello guys and welcome to our channel Beverol here in today's video we are making a commentary about droid so we get you in the mind of playing in droid and roaming anyway the last fight gonna be a really special fight so make sure you watch that and in this first fight I'm engaging a dragon hunter and a soul beast so I pick the dragon hunter as an easier target there is no direct stance potentially better stance so I alongside the soul beast and I did not expect this much damage from um, the dragon hunter anyway so now I'm cornered and soul beast can kill me once I leave this ledge so I use uh, lightning reflex dodge with my short bow and then dodge change weapon accidentally cancel my staff 5 but eventually ended up line of science I'm healing myself with staff 5 uh, staff 3 combo for uh, blast finisher and I use staff 2 and interrupt with Eboga ball and then interrupt again with 60 avatar trying to lock them with uh, entangle heal under them for slow and more condition so weapon swap to apply more pressure but uh, revive land anyway but already the dragon hunter had too much damage and no way out of it so I immediately bring him down and go to line of sight the second soul beast again and enter Sisti avatar he knocked me back I noticed the reveal is over from the second so I immediately leave Sisti avatar and then uh, use my staff to heal and avoid projectile he go to great sword so I avoid his mole with distance heal under him so he is immobilized that's why he missed a great sword 5 trying to lock him here miss my days so I land and mobilize from short bow, he was still in range but he got too far because the animation of great sword landed so Iboga couldn't bowl him. I see one wolf back on him so I interrupted him with glyph doing too much pressure, didn't eat a single hit at this point and the fight was over. So the first lesson you need to keep in mind, always watch what on you and what on your enemy, effects, boons, stability, anything. Like the second uh, reveal and one wolf back on my enemy for example. I see reveal on me so I turn back and I notice it was a second soul beast again so I'm trying to take the landmark and stay in it but he go inside too so um, now we are playing around each other he used Doliac stance so there's not much I can do now uh, and he got joined by uh, Scourge his friend so I dodge back trying to avoid them and miss uh, the entangle he missed his entangle I use mine to avoid any other condition or lockdown like immobilize or something before I turn to the wall and I dodged to avoid his knockback but he didn't knockback was really smart so he knocked back once he made sure I would eat it probably or uh, out of uh, context so I couldn't see it so I tried to kite them up there so they can't catch me land my immobilize on him and then enter my sister avatar gain stability and stills immediately so I avoid any other balls or uh, CCs so I won't get locked down I don't have much cooldowns for survivability at this point I go down so I see an ally trying to get his help probably and they split to lock me here and I avoid all of their CCs through lightning reflexes and go behind so we can spin around this wall missing each other's hit. The dragon hunter joined me and with this amount of traps there wasn't much they can do. I healed and keep cleansing condition in this field controlling the entire area me and the dragon hunter. So we finished the second soul beast and the fight was easy basically two scourges and we can burst them down this point. So we focus on, uh, I focus on the same uh, scourge that uh, he is focusing in but he actually bowls them both so I like them with entangle, we put them too near each other so we can cleave them both, cleansing, stealthing and um, bottom more blinds, stability so there is not much they can do at this point and they are both go down and the fight was over easily and what we learn from this fight is the more someone chase you the more cooldowns they burn more than you it, they making themselves vulnerable to the point when you turn your back and fight and this fight turned to my advantage because of that I fight the same guys but this time they don't make this mistake they go immediately for the camp and I couldn't really pressure them by myself here so I ended up losing the camp so now they gonna make another mistake after they took the camp one of them gonna follow me only one and he's a scourge Without the help of his friend, this turned to a 1v1, so I immediately CC him, he used stability, uh, fear me, so I remove the stability with my bit CC and then CC him, blind him, locking him with more entangle and then dodging back, interrupting him trying to cleanse I think with Eboga and then using more CC, the damage was too much so he fell down. I took few hits from the soul beast in order to fill my sister avatar before I heal so uh, I didn't uh, line sight him or anything or through the ledge 
and then I interrupt him and finish the sketch. After that, it only the whole piece now, and most of his cooldowns are gone. Sikkim, uh, Dolly extends, everything is basically gone. So I lock him inside the mine tangle. See, see him one after another, me and my bit, and he went down. And then the last one comes, which, which is the other scourge. I get interrupted from the finish by the soul beast. I hopefully think I will end it, but I get feared by the scourge. I dodge backward with lightning reflexes. I heal under them so I would cleanse any other field, but uh, I almost fell there, but actually, thankfully, cleansed it. So now there is not much of a CC, so I go to finish again and I do it. Now I'm like in the scourge who already wasted most of his scourge abilities. So an entangle, another entangle, applying the torment and poison from the elite skill, uh, switching bit to bowl him again, interrupt him with uh, my glyph, and interrupt after another, he was down. Now the last fight gonna be the one uh, that really unique because it's gonna be a fight with my sister. Now the fight was too long, so I couldn't get all of it. It's a second soul beast, a burn, and a support mix kind firebrand with a really good dragon hunter so i'm alone uh, versus him now since my sister just respawned i uh, avoid them here because of the ledge using uh, this to avoid the projectile dodging to them by a mistake and then healing then dodging the cc from the second soul beast and now they are curbled i turn my back target the soul beast trying to lock him since he would be the most dangerous one that can burst me immediately forcing him into saving himself he knocked me back so i use lightning reflex since i knew rabbit fire will be coming dodge dodge again use a staff and switch bit before the end so i would uh, shave off five seconds from the cooldown at this point i could have just boarded or left but i think to myself i can take this fight so i go to an area where there's a lot of line of sight can go on but i find the fight with one of their server so i ended up trying to down him or uh, get rid of him since he would join them in chasing me and it could be a problem but I ended up hurting the other thief from the other server too much and this won't land and the dragon hunter timing with the knockback and everything would be really unique like immediately after a dodge and maybe he timed it for the thief stills but he prevented us from doing anything so as uh, the revive comes the cleanse comes and now I'm fighting all those guys again and the second soul beast uh, so I cleanse this burn from the firebrand uh, with my staff and line of sight them here doing the field from my healing so they would be crippled if they follow me the first second soul beast didn't follow but now I have uh, those two guys and second soul beast didn't join so I'm trying to reposition myself take and target from them I still think to myself maybe the dragon hunter is easier so I fight him instead of the firebrand trying to pressure him more or isolate them in a way uh, I see my sister on the map, so maybe I should go down, maybe she will come for me. I dodge the ball from the firebrand and lock them with immobilize, uh, in a way waiting for her to get up. Um, but now I will see reveal on me, so I know the second soul beast targeted me. I dodge here and end up falling by a mistake, this wasn't meant uh, actually. So I use ref, uh, the field for projectile. I go to the avatar for more healing and stills. I should have stayed one more second more so I would be close to this ledge to avoid the damage if I want to. But work it out fine. So I lock him with immobilize and my sister come also so we're trying to apply more pressure. Uh, but he cleansed all this damage, blocking with great salt. The dragon hunter bowled me which was really fine at this point. Then I would follow the um, second soul beast easier. I'm trying to get rid of him first since he is the most dangerous, but I was unsuccessful in locking him down. The firebrand followed me alone, thinking he that burst would be enough. I was inside Sister Avatar, I cleanse with my survival skills, dodge for more protection, and then cleanse against Sister Avatar. I noticed was stability since he got immune, I wait for it to end, and then bowl him with Iboga, locking him with more CC, poison, and then heal on top of him to cleanse myself and make him slowed so not much he can do. And burst him down even with entangle. I see my sister's health going really low, so I thought to myself maybe I should wait to rally her, but it's taking too long and he already used his CC. So I thought, why well, let's just finish him and maybe I can handle the boss even if I had to. I try to secure her with uh, the projectile field and heal her more, but she's going to line of sight into those pillars. So um, we immobilize the second soul beast, he cleans the immobilize, we try to burst him with damage, I even switch weapon next to him where I know he wore and still he cleansed all this damage and healed under me to immobilize me but Iboga still on him, he's still at range so I waited a bit to make sure it will land and then bolt him. 
and now he's immobilized with huge amount of damage and the fight with him was basically over but the dragon hunter was well MIA at this point he was still too far maybe trying to revive his um, firebrand but he left or I'm not sure and now he's the only one at this point I became really relaxed with the fight uh, I missed my entangle I healed uh, to catch him with a mobilize just like that and he just kept cleansing chasing um, like um, almost I'm spamming my skills still doing uh, be trying to be effective but not as much my timing wasn't great uh, he dodged my mobilize but we still got him with it uh, a huge burst going into this block and still hitting uh, through his reflect he is really good and I should be still being focused because now the firebrand is back we are literally next to their keep so this is basically how uh, they got rid of my sister the first time they were three but still we were focusing one of them and the other one protect him so if you focus the dragon hunter the firebrand sitting relaxedly back and keep cleansing and giving boons if you focus the dragon hunter he saves his skills uh, if you focus the firebrand the dragon hunter saves his skills and he can save himself uh, easily and even help his friend so i ended up targeting um, the firebrand for her so she would pressure him and i trying to pressure the dragon hunter if we pressure both uh, one of them would have to cleanse himself and the other would have to cleanse himself and we have good immobilized so we can separate them so they're not be in range of each other which what we do at the end here and the firebrand skills are way behind in range than the dragon hunter so he couldn't cleanse couldn't help couldn't do much at this point and the burst was too much and the dragon hunter went down and the firebrand interrupted and followed him easily after and this fight was over so sometimes you have to do things different than the usual so you ended up winning or trying to find the win in a situation that's not easily winnable so that will be it for the video give me your feedback don't forget to like subscribe uh, and i'll be seeing you next time peace